Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas, everyone. It is Christmas Day 2020. Thankfully, we're pretty close to the end of 2020 and we'll be able to move on out of all this. I really hope that your Christmas Day brings you everything that your heart desires. Fill your stomach, fill your mind, and fill your soul on this day as well. And I uh, wanted to thank you for coming back one last time for our 12 days of Christmas, Christmas celebration for 2020. I'm Jerry E. Potter with the ATS Business University, Riqueza. And as you know, we've been doing this 12 days of Christmas uh, to try to celebrate and add a little more joy to your life. So let's get into the last episode here of our uh, storytelling and poetry. So I should start off. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords a-leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, Five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Happy Christmas Day, everyone. Twelve days of Christmas series. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. We've given you our version of many of the classic Christmas stories this year. Talked a little bit about what the meaning of the twelve days of Christmas is. And uh, we shared some of these rich Christmas stories, including Twas the Night Before Christmas, The Tailor of Gloucester, The Snowman, Christmas Chimes, A Christmas Legend, How the Fur Became the Christmas Tree, Peter Rabbit, The Cratchit's Christmas Dinner, The Legend of the Christmas Tree, How the Good Gifts Were Used by Two, and The Littlest Christmas Tree, another Christmas short story that we were able to do for you this year. And uh, this, on the 12th day of Christmas, we're going to do something just a, a little bit different with, with moving forward here. Uh, I've got uh, actually some poems that I've picked that really represent a lot of what Christmas is, and uh, to me, anyway, with the family uh, side of things. And I'm also going to do... Uh, Christmas as at Fizzy Wigs Warehouse. Christmas at Fizzy Wigs Warehouse, which is a short story with a funny name uh, by Charles Dickens, another one of our very prolific Christmas storytellers. So let's get this one going. Fizzy Wigs Warehouse. I yo ho, my boys, said Fizzy Wig. No more work tonight. Christmas Eve, Dick. Christmas, Ebenezer, let's have the shutters up, cried old Fezziwig with a sharp clap of his hands before a man can say Jack Robinson. Hilly-o ho, cried Fezziwig, skipping down from the high desk with wonderful agility. Clear away, my lads, and let's have lots of room here. Hilly-ho, Dick, cheery up, cheer up, Ebenezer. Clear away, there was nothing they wouldn't have cleared away or couldn't have cleared away with old Fezziwig looking on. It was done in a minute. Every movable was packed off as if it were dismissed from public life forevermore. The floor was swept and watered, the lamps were trimmed, fuel was heaped upon the fire, and the warehouse was as snug and warm and dry and bright a ballroom as you would ever desire to see on a winter's night. In came a fiddler with a music book and went up to the lofty desk and made an orchestra of it and tuned like 50 stomach aches. In came Mrs. Fezziwig, one vast substantial smile. In came the three Mrs. Fezziwigs, beaming and lovable. In came the six followers whose hearts they had broken. In came all the young men and women employed in the business. In came in the housemaid with her cousin, the baker. In came the cook with her brother's particular friend, the milkman. In came the boy from over the way who was suspected of not having bored enough from his master, trying to hide himself behind the girl from 
next door, but one who was proved to have had her eyes, her ears, excuse me, pulled by her mistress. In all, in they all came, anyhow and every how. Away they all went, twenty couple at once, hands half round and back again the other way, down the middle and up again, round and round in various stages of affectionate grouping, old top couple always turning up in the wrong place, new top couple starting off again as soon as they got there, all top couples at last and not a bottom one to help them. When this result was brought about, the fiddler struck up Sir Roger de Coverley. Then old Fezziwig stood out to dance with Mrs. Fezziwig. Top couple two with a good stiff piece of work cut out for them. Three or four and twenty pairs of partners. People who were not afraid to be trifled with. People who would dance and had no notion of walking. But if they had been thrice as many, oh, four times as many, old Fezziwig would have been a match for them, and so would Mrs. Fezziwig. As to her, she was worthy to be his partner in every sense of the term. If that's not high praise, tell me higher and I'll use it. A positive light appeared to issue from Fezziwig's calves. They shone in every part of the dance like moons, you couldn't have predicted at any given time what would have become of them next. And when old Fezziwig and Mrs. Fezziwig had gone all through the dance, advance and retire, both hands to your partner, bow and curtsy, corkscrew, thread the needle, and back again to your place, Fezziwig cut so deftly that he appeared to wink with his legs and came upon his feet again with a stagger. When the clock struck 11, the domestic ball broke up. Mr. and Mrs. Fezziwig took their stations, one on the other side of the door, and shaking hands with every person individually as he or she went out, wished him or her a Merry Christmas, just as we wish you a Merry Christmas here today. The Fezziwigs did this many, many decades ago. Again, another story, uh, which is one of our, our favorite authors there. The Fezziwigs, of course, uh, comes to you on this Christmas with Jerry, Jerry E. Potter. And then I've got these three poems that I'd mentioned. Uh, they're short poems, but they really do seem to encapsulate what is the meaning of Christmas. First poem we'll end things out with, The Old Family Album. Poet was Ethel K. Gosney, to give her credit. The old family album once was prominently displayed with its cover of red velvet, trimmed in gleaming silken braid. Every parlor had a table filled with shells and paperweight and the album of your ancestors anchored like a ship of state. There were old ten types of grandma, aunts, and uncles, and cousins too, and Grandpa with his cane and derby, fancy vest, and button shoes. Yes, the old family album once held its rightful place in an old-fashioned parlor amid souvenirs and lace. And if you're tired of travel and your world seems closing in, bring out the family album with the ten types of your kin. Poem number two, To Me What Family Is. The poet is Glader. To me what family is. Family to me has many meanings, for all are full of diverse feelings. Love and anger, both within a single one. Children who stay and children who run. Can one family be better than another? It all depends on how they love each other. A family's love should last forever. Bonds of love nothing can sever. For the family I have, I am happy and blessed, and nothing more truthful have I ever confessed. Family has many meanings, but one rises above. The greatest meaning of family is that of love. That is to me what family is. And then we'll close out this 12 days of Christmas episode with Christmas is a time. 
Christmas is a Time by poet Kathy. Christmas is a time when with your family to appreciate everything you have and your life. Parents, uncles, aunts, brothers, sisters, kids, and wife. Christmas is a time when Santa comes for the kids and brings them everything they ask for on their wish list. Christmas is a time when your Lloyds get happy before they go to sleep. You can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they open the presents they get to keep. Christmas is a time where there's beautiful lights, stockings, mistletoes, snowflakes, and Christmas tree. I wonder how this Christmas will be for me. And thank you for that poem, Kathy. Uh, wanted to just pass along joyous Christmas wishes to each and every one of you uh, in my family, uh, many of which are very far away from me geographically. Uh, also, thank you to all my friends and family on Facebook that have been able to join with us here. Our Riqueza and uh, ATS Business University family, thank you, thank you. And a Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night, and we wish that this finds you with the blessings that you have desired on this Christmas day, Christmas 2020, and we'll all move into a new year and better times together in the happy new year of 2021. We have a new motto for the 2021 uh, new year. It is John 2021, so look that up and, and see what that says. That'll give you an idea of where we're going with 2021. Thank you so much, everyone. Please join us again. Don't forget to follow, comment, like us on social media. Hit the bell so that you know when we've got something else coming out, if you're on YouTube or whatnot. And uh, we really appreciate you spending the time with us, and we've enjoyed this time with you. Merry Christmas to all. Merry, Merry Christmas. And to all, a good night. Thank you, everyone. See you soon.